The Barber family was outside their home Friday night when chaos happened. They say a neighbor came over upset about where the kids were playing and attacked them. The whole thing captured on their ring doorbell as the younger kids watched in horror. The family's teenager jumped in, pulling the suspect to the ground. The situation only got worse. The suspect, Patrick Cleary, then seen swinging back with what the family says was a large box cutter. We've circled it in these images. Everyone is OK today, but the family is now trying to come to terms with the trauma. I came to looking up at a paramedic. And I said, please don't let me die. Don't let me die like this in front of my kids. Teresa Barber's kids watched her fight to get away from her neighbor, who she says came at her with a box cutter. He was standing over me and it was like this and it was nothing but a shadow. Um, Every time I closed my eyes Friday night in the hospital, that's how I saw. Barbara says her neighbor attacked because her kids were allegedly playing on his property. The fight quickly getting violent. The neighbor seen attacking Teresa's husband, Daryl, while their teenage son tried to stop it. At this point, we'll stop the video because it gets too graphic. Teresa Barber was stabbed multiple times along her ear, neck and back. Yeah, I've had to walk with this cane ever since I got out of the hospital because I can't keep my balance. Daryl Barber is still in the hospital recovering from his injuries, including a stab wound in his arm and a punctured lung. He's got too much junk in his lungs for them to release him right now. Loved ones thankful the Barbers are alive. It would have took a chunk of my heart out if I lost her. Chunk I probably could never get back. Patrick Cleary is charged with two counts of assault with a deadly weapon with intent to kill. He is being held under a $15,000 secured bond. If he makes bail, he must have no contact with the victims, wear an electronic monitoring device, and have a curfew.